first of all, mm -hmm. um, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you cool. very much, Comrade. Does the fact that you are having meetings and recording podcasts and working say a lot about the type of entrepreneur you are? Or is it just whatever? I don't know, man. I'd rather be doing this. I'd rather be working. I'd rather be building. It's a birthday. I'm going to have another one next year. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I Knock don't. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah. honestly, I'd rather be doing this. That's how my life has been for the past eight years or so. Um, I always have something to do on my birthday. Yeah. And I think I feel more lively when I'm doing stuff, stuff on my birthday. Yeah. I, I, on Monday, today's Wednesday, Monday I thought I'd take this day off. And I tried taking the day off, but it just didn't make sense, you know. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where I am. I'm supposed to be here. And, yeah, man. It's not deep. It's yeah. not deep. Um, is that just how you've always been as an entrepreneur? Like, has this always just been who you are in terms of everything? Or is just this business really matters to you at that level? I think it, it really has to do with the type of person I am and everything that I do. I'm an all or nothing person. I'm an by all means necessary, you know. But more importantly, uh, because this business means so much to me, um, there's no off button. Yeah. There's no off button. If someone calls me while I'm on vacation, I'll pick up, you know. Mm. Until I, I, I feel, until I feel like this business doesn't need me, someone will pick up the phone on my behalf. Yeah, yeah. sure. But for now, um, I'm basking in the process. Okay. Just to, you know, get people clued up, what business is it? I mean, I know, but... Uh, so, I'm the guy who cleans sneakers and polishes shoes for a living. Um, I clean sneakers, I have a sneaker cleaning business called Walk Fresh, sneaker cleaning and shoe care. So, we clean sneakers, polish shoes, repair shoes, uh, we do pickups and deliveries, so you give us a call, or go on our website <laughs> to book a service. Um, yeah, we just like the one-stop shop for all your shoe care needs. That's what I do. I have a, I now I employ, I'm at, I'm at two digits now. I have 10 people yeah. working for Fresh, which is like a big achievement for me. And yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. Would you call yourself a social impact entrepreneur? I mean, the first thing you mentioned as an achievement is the fact that you employ 10 people. It's not that you make this X amount of money. It's not that you have, you know, multiple drop-offs. It's not that you, you know, one entrepreneurship awards, but that you employ 10 people. Look, me cleaning sneakers allows me to fuck shit up in my community. Yep. Excuse the language, but... No, we swear on this podcast. It's the all. So, <laughs> so, so, so me cleaning sneakers, uh, it allows me to do all of the stuff that I've always wanted to do as a kid. Um, socially. Socially. I don't like the whole social entrepreneur thing because it's almost like an excuse not to make money. Yeah. Like, I want to make guap. I want to be rich as fuck because I know if I'm rich, I'm, I'll be able to do all these things I want to do. But I start with why I'm doing it, mm. which is to fuck shit up in my community. And how I do it is through sneaker cleaning. Fuck shit up in a positive way. Yeah, of just course, to, in a, in a, in a very, small in a, disclaimer. In a, in a very positive way. In a very positive way. <laughs> yeah. In a way that has... The reason why I'm saying fuck it up is because I always try find ways to do it in a way that hasn't been done or yeah. people shy away from doing it that way because it's almost like the long way around yeah. you know so for me I'm, I, I, I don't regard myself as a social entrepreneur because social entrepreneurs don't want to make money they yeah. want to be a Hashem friends I want to I wanna, I wanna kill it I yeah. want to make guap but I, I still want to my passion my why personally is to make sure that I have a positive impact in my community and outside of Davidson as a whole yeah. So yeah. I think the one thing that I found interesting about you is like being able to take um, a political stance on certain things. You know, being able to say you know, buy black matters. Yeah. And buy black is you know most important yeah. in your social movement. Yeah. Um, most entrepreneurs think that you know what I don't want to burn my brand that way. Yeah. What's your thinking around that? Like, how do you separate you know a personal brand, personal beliefs? from what the business actually does and how the business can, you know, grow or scale or whatever. Look, people invest in the jockey, not the horse. So people invest in the table and not walk rich. Yep. Um, 
And if you're going to invest in Litabo, you have to invest in someone who's real with themselves. And that's what I would like to believe that I am with myself. So I'm very strong on my political views, and that's who I am. I can't run from it. Yeah. I have sleepless nights because of things like that. Yeah. But if I try to be someone else and try to separate that from my brand, then you wouldn't know who you're actually investing in. Yeah. But obviously there's a line where I think I think I think the problem with, with current entrepreneurs, myself included, is that we too we're too worried about pleasing people and not stepping on people's toes and not saying things that will offend the these and that brands that we look forward to working with. But in my head, I don't want people to feel comfortable around me. Okay. Uh, because I, I regard myself as a disruptor. So to go back to your question, there is Letabo the brand, there is Workfresh the brand. Mm. And right now my, my personal task this year is to separate the two. That's why I have a new brand manager who is handling our social media accounts and all of that. Yeah. So that I can keep being Letabo. Yeah. Without worrying about without worrying about uh, if I say this, this person might think that. If I say this, Hunter's Draw won't work with me. Mm. If they don't want to work with me, it's fine. Yeah. But what I'm saying is not something that I'm shooting out of the sky. So, these are societal issues that we're dealing with right now. Yeah. And if, as a brand, you don't want to work with me, it tells me about you. Yeah. That you want to act like everything is cool. Mm. When we as a youth, we are flipping unemployed. Mm. And just because I said that you're not going to work with me, then clearly I also don't want to work with you. Yeah. Do you know? So. So I'm happy with where I am with my views, mm-hmm. and I don't hide them for nothing. Yeah. I just need to start separating the two because I would love for Wolfers to exist without me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the goal. I would love for it to exist without me, and for it to prosper without me. Mm-hmm. That's why I started. Do you know? But I, I I can't change. Yeah. If I could, I, would, I still refuse. Um. Something I always think about is like how. I think most entrepreneurs focus so much on building a brand versus building a business. Whereas, you know, with, with a business like yours, I think it's really important to make sure that you do focus on the business. It's not like, I think a lot of entrepreneurs are so fancy, they want to build the businesses where you can take an Instagram picture, right? Not necessarily the businesses where you're employing people and you're growing things. Like, how do you separate that between building a brand versus building a business? and like? Has that been a focus? Has that something? Has that been something you think about? I've 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 made. Thank you, my boy. Thank, thank you, Favelo. Um, I've made deliberate actions in that regard. Um, the reason why so many entrepreneurs, like you said right now, are more focused on building a brand than they are on building the business is because building a brand means hype. Yeah. When you build a brand, it means you get the interviews. Uh, you get the TV shows, you get this and that and that. So a lot of entrepreneurs today want to feel good and be known and be celebrities and all of that. And your bank statement is saying otherwise. Yeah. Uh, so I've made deliberate actions and I've, I've put in place deliberate plans with my team to say, yo, this is the business side of things. Mm. And I'll build a brand fortunately because that's what I studied. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm, that's why I'm saying I'm not concerned with being liked. I'm not... I, I'm at a point right now where I turn down interviews. People don't know this, but I don't do media interviews anymore. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm busy building a company. Mm. If you call me and tell me to come to Hyde Park, it's my guess. Yeah. It's special for me that I could use for and something. Time. Like, and time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So the problem I think with most of my peers right now is that people would rather be famous than to be rich. And yeah. they'd, they'd rather take Instagram pictures and be influencers for this and that brand. But... Brands will use you, and when they're done with you, then the next kid will always entertain Onto the club. the next well. cool kid. You know what I'm saying? So for me, yeah. I'm not here to be liked. I'm not here to make people feel good. I'm here to play my role mm. in my way. Yeah. In my, I'll always be adamant about this, that I'll do it the way I see fit, you know. And I have a responsibility in my company, mm. I have responsibility for salaries, I have responsibility for growing the company, I have responsibilities for that. And that, that, that's priority for me. Yeah. That's why I'll never choose an interview over that. Mm. So a lot of entrepreneurs are stuck in between that, where someone says it's exposure. I said to our to project, and I'm name dropping, I said to our to project, it's exposure, but I can't convert it. Yeah. If I can't convert that into sales, I don't want it. So take my content down. 
because you're telling me you put up my content because it's exposure. Pay me, then tell me it's exposure. Yeah. But then if you just want to use my content and, 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 and make me famous and tell me a lot of people wanna, well, are going to see me, I don't want people to see me, I want people to pay me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So a lot of people get, get lost in that where 2020, I, I said to Skinny Spoo, I said, yo, Antoine, it's all good and well now, but 2020 is so like I'm a state man. Where we say, <laughs> okay, nigga. Okay, so where nigga. are you actually? No excuses. No excuses. Where you at? Hear my statement. Yeah. You know? As a positive thing, because we're on the ground all together. All of us are working. Now, here are my statements. Don't come to me and say, oh, it's not a competition. I'm on my lane. Screw that, nigga. This is business. We're competing. Yeah. Like, let, let's, let's see. You know? yeah. Right now, everyone is building. So we can build all these excuses. Everyone is making mistakes. I'm making mistakes. I'm making expensive mistakes right now. Yeah. You know. But I'm I'm happy that I am. So so yeah yeah. Um, you spoke about how people invest in jockeys versus the horse, right? The horse being the business, the jockey being the entrepreneur. Three things that make, or just one thing that makes a good jockey, or maybe just makes you a good jockey. I think what makes me a, a good jockey are the things that I'm angry about. Um, I said this yesterday on Facebook that last, last year, this time, I was a very angry individual. I was a very angry young black boy because of how my society is set up, mm. because of how my society is, 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 is designed to kick me out. Yeah. And this one lady, Titi, said, you could be angry, but you can decide to use that anger as a passion. Mm. It's easy to change, to change things you're angry about. Yeah. Because if you're, you're angry about something, it haunts you. Mm. And it's easy to, to change something that you like, no, actually, screw this, like, I want to change it. So what makes me a good jockey is that, that the stuff that I'm angry about is stuff that's not going to end now. This means no more I'm going to pay the Yeah. You know? And number two, I think because... I'm sober. Yeah. I'm sober. Um, I, I would like to believe that I'm doing it for the right reasons. And I would like to believe that I'm a very decisive person. I know what I want. Um, uh, I know exactly how I want it to, to, to play out. I'm, I'm the type of person that even when we do artwork, I say to you, yo, the sponsor is wrong. Mm. This thing is not aligned. It's tilted a bit. Mm. These colors don't. I'm that type of person. I'm very pedantic, so I'm. I know how I want things to, and and I'm really open to failing. Yeah. You know, I'm open to failing. I'm open to learning. Mm. But at the end of the day, I know. I know how I want things to play out, and I, I have fun, man. I think that's like my final question. It's just, how do you want things to play out? What do you see in the next five years, ten years, twenty years, or just like the 2020 vision that everyone seems to be jumping on? <laughs> For me or for the brand or for both? I don't think we can separate that. <laughs> no, I think we can. I think, <laughs> no, the reason why I'm saying I think we can is because that's like my task this year. I'm trying to separate the two. You know? Okay. I'm trying to have a little cruising somewhere and people don't ask me, I'm a radio, I'm a radio, I'm a radio or not. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm trying to get to that point. But for me, the 2020 plan for me is to have more of me. Mm. To have more kids like me. Yeah. You know, people were gonna be like, oh, let's have so proud of you. Uh, but my, my caution will always be like, is that all that I'm gonna do? Like, God forbid something happens to me. Yeah. Then, so my goal, my goal is, is to have more of me, to have more kids just like me, and to have more kids who are very vocal just like I am, to have more kids who are very stubborn just like I am. Mm. And to have kids that are able to say no, just like I always do, you know, that's my goal. And the company's goal, I said this to Taban three years ago when he started Workfresh, I said, yo, people don't know this, but I'm building Workfresh to sell it to Bitverse. Yeah. And people are like, what? <laughs> this is your baby. How could you do that? I'm like, yo, man, for me, this is our springboard. This mm. is where we make all the mistakes. This yeah. is where uh, we fight. This is where people do this and that, we lose this and that, but this is not it for us. I don't, I, I don't believe like this is it for us. So I said to Samantha, when we build this, one day we're going to sell it to Bitverse for over a, a, a billion, mm. and you go home with your share, I go home with my share, and we see what we do about it, and people are like, ah, legacy, yo, 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 
I'm saying I want that to be my legacy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So for, for, for me, Walk Fresh next 20 years, I would really love to see it as an international brand where I own 10% stake. Mm. And some people are worried about it, and I ain't worried about it. Mm. And I'm just building fancy back rooms. I can see owning a real estate company guys that's building fancy back rooms because I'm yeah. really passionate about the hood. Uh, I see myself doing that, and I see the brand there where the brand doesn't need me, the brand does its own thing. So, yeah. so, so yeah, man. Thank you so much, man. It's all. And like, happy yeah. birthday. Thank you very much, comrades. Cool. <laughs> the land is coming. Uh, the CIC is leading us, we are to uh, Siabonga. We are the ones who are ready for the land. When the land comes, we'll be cleaning 10,000 sneakers. <laughs> These views are not the